Hello, my friends, my brothers, and my sisters. I know it's been a long time, but God is still good and He's still blessing. This is your sister, Dr. Erica Ward, on another morning commute exhortation. And I just want to say a little bit to encourage you uh, that no matter what's going on, no matter the hindrances, no matter the the situations that may try to hinder you, no matter what the obstacles, no matter how unsurmountable they may seem, and no matter how big the task is ahead of you, no matter how huge the vision is that God has given you, God still has more than a thousand ways to solve your problem. He has more than a thousand ways to bless you. He has more than a thousand ways to do what needs to be done in your situation. So I just want to share a word of encouragement that we are not without hope. We are not without solutions. We are not without uh, opportunities and options. Because God is the God of all flesh. He's the God of all creation. He's the God of the universe. And he's our daddy. He's our father. He's our God. And we're his kids. We're his children. And he's got us. So yes, we're going to have obstacles. We're going to have afflictions. We're going to have trials. We're going to have tribulations. But rejoice in tribulation. Know that when you are... uh, uh, attacked or hindered or or uh, something comes against you, that should be where you rejoice even the more to know that what God says is true. What he promised you is true. That when we go through tribulations and trials, that he is an ever-present help in the time of trouble. That whenever we are persecuted for righteousness sake, that he's going to bless us and he's going to bless us openly when we do what we do for him, not looking for gain recognition, but we do what we do because we want to be a blessing because we're a kingdom citizen. So I want to encourage everyone today, stay encouraged, don't lose hope. No matter what you're going through, yes, we're going to have trials. Yes, we're going to have tests. Yes, we're going to have situations because we live on this earth. And of course, this earth is not our home. We are kingdom citizens. So we are like aliens in this land. But guess what? We are still more than conquerors. We still have the victory. And our daddy runs the universe. (laughs) That's powerful right there. Remember who you are. Be encouraged. God bless you, love you, and I can't wait to see you on another morning commute exhortation. God bless you. Bye.